Okay, hello everyone. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes, we can. Great. Uh, so for you to see me. Hello, my name is Diana. I am research assistant for Mass for Business course and I will be conducting a few workshops this semester. And the first workshop, which is today, also will be held by me. So for today, we will have the core algebra uh, review, like the basic skills you might need for this uh, course. Uh, here's the textbook. Uh, I hope you have seen it already. It, it is one of the main books for this course. Uh, so we will have fractions variables and solving formulas for a variable. Here are the exercises that we'll, we will be looking at today. Uh, you might uh, see them in the book and review later by yourself if you want. So I think we can start. So I suppose the best way will be is that you solve and then we'll uh, look at your an answers and I will solve it as well. So when you are finished, you can type your answers in the chat or unmute yourself and speak up. Students in class, are you done? Okay. Then I see some answers in the chat. So let's check. So here, okay. Uh, we we'll first pay attention to the orders of our what uh, of what we do, and first we multiply. Uh, here we have 2 over 3 multiplied by 5 over 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will get used to it. We can see that we can uh, divide 12 and 2. So here's the 6, 5 over 18. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please uh tap in the chat or un unmute and then we'll have half plus five over 18. so here we need to uh, find the common denominator is 18 so we need to multiply this fraction by nine so we will have nine plus five over 18. so here is 14 18. It's better uh, to make it simpler so we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So we'll have 7 over 9. It's the final... Mm, okay. <laughs> it is the final variant uh, of this fraction that will be like, the most beautiful one and the most correct one. Uh, for the second task, yeah, you got it right. It's minus, minus five. Here we also do firstly division because uh, it is the math. Oh, I, I should figure out how it works. Uh, we first do div what what's happening. Why it is drawing without? Okay. So here. We have the same divided by 110. Uh, but we cannot make it simpler because uh, 3 and 10 cannot be divided. But we have to turn this fraction upside down and then we'll have multiplication like this. Uh, and here we can simplify by dividing by 5. 1, 2. So here's 6. And then 1 minus 6 equals minus 5. Ah. Okay. 
Is everyone okay with it? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. 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 Great. Then we can go forward. Um. Okay. So here's the same scheme you will do. We check answers and then I solve. And if you have any questions, you can ask. Students in the class, how are you with this? Both or the first one? Great. So can I start sol solving now? Is everyone is okay? Is everyone okay? Yes. Okay. So here we firstly look at the at the top of the fraction. Okay. <laughs> uh, numerator, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So we have five over eight plus one over six. Here we also need to uh, find common denominator, uh, eight and six, it is 18. So to have 18, oh, 18, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, 24, I suppose we have, yeah, we should have 24. Uh, to have 24, we need to multiply it eight by three and six by four. If we multiply it, uh, the denominator, denominator will have 15. Here we will have uh, four. So here we'll have 24. So we will have 19 over 24. Uh, then we have 19 over 24 divided by 19 over 24. To do the division, we need to turn the second fraction upside down. So we have 19 multiplied by 24. And here we will also have 24 multiplied by 19. So it is exactly one. Uh, for the second task, uh, it would be easy also to have the common denominator in both fractions. Then we will do the same procedure, like turn the second fraction upside down. For the first one, five over nine plus six over one. Uh, 9 and 6 have common denominator, it is 18. So here we have 2, here we have 3. 10 plus 3 over 18, 13 over 18. For the second part, 2 over 3 minus 1, minus, minus, 1 minus 2. Oh, oh, okay, here is 2 and 3. So 4 minus 3 divided by 6. We have one six. Uh, it is the first, second step. The third step is 13 over 18 divided by one over six. So we turn upside down this fraction and we get 13 multiplied by six and divided by 18. Simplifying here one, here three. So we get 13 over three. You can either left it as it is, or you can divide and have like four and one third. Both variants are fine. The, the first one, the unsimplified one is better for uh, multiplying and dividing if you have next steps. This one is like official end of, of, the, uh, of the task. You cannot do anything with it more. Okay, is everyone clear with the solution? Yes. 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 You too? Yes. Great. If you have any questions, you can ask anytime. Let's move forward. A, let's move forward. Mouse. Okay. So here we will, we will touch the solving for variables part. Here are like the simple equations 
we need to find the value of x and u here. I suppose you have you will need much not much but a little more time for this so when you're ready please type in the chat or speak up if you're in a class or you want to share your solution this way okay i think most of you are done so we can start checking the solution so when you solve for a variable when you solve the question equation uh, you'd like all variables to be on one side let it be left side so we need to bring all our oops uh-huh okay i got it to bring all our vari variables to the left i don't change the sign but for here but we will do this later and bring one to the right side. When you bring something over the equation symbol, you need to change its sign. Let me show you like this. Uh, so here we need either, we'd better make the common denominator by multiplying this fraction by four. So we'll have four, three X plus four, over two oops over eight now over eight now minus five x plus ten divided by eight equals minus one uh if you have numbers in denominator and you don't have variables uh you can get rid of it by multiplying the whole equation by eight if you are comfortable with it not to have this uh layers of numbers we can do like this so we will multi multiply this by eight so eight twenty four oh thirty two i'm sorry thirty two three plus four minus eight five x plus ten equals minus eight Mm, actually, I just thought that we should firstly make it simpler and then get rid of 8. So let it be like this. Plus 16, we open the brackets. Minus 5x minus 10 divided by 8 plus minus 1. Because we don't want to multiply like by 32 and these huge numbers. It's not efficient. We'll have something in chat. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we have 12x minus 5x. This equals 7x. We have 16 minus 10 plus 6. Uh, the next step is to multiply it by 8. So we have this, and then we get to 7x plus 8 equals minus, oh, plus 6 equals minus, minus 8. Then we bring 6 here. So 7x equals minus 8 minus 6. 7x equals minus 14. So it, x equals minus 2. <laughs> so let's check the second equation. Let's bring this. Okay, here we follow the same, same procedure. All our variables to the left side. One. Uh, so four and five have common denominator to 20. So here we can multiply by five. Here we can multiply by four. So we'll have five, seven u minus one, minus four, or u plus eight, divided by 20 equals one. Oh. 
so let's simplify the numerator. So it is 35u minus 5 minus 16u minus 32 equals 20. Like I did two steps, it's one. 35 minus 16 is 19. And so five minus five minus thirty-two is minus thirty-seven. So we can have twenty plus thirty-seven here. So nineteen u is fifty-seven, and u is three. Do you have any questions? Isn't it so fast? Maybe I should slow down. Can you wait a minute, please? For sure. I can slow down if you need. Just tell me, please. It's fine. Okay, so if you need uh, more time to copy the solution, you can take a screenshot, so we will continue. Okay, let's go next. Um, mouse. Okay. I got to use it. So here, not yet. Get back. So here we have the same equations, but with decimals, not the simple fractions. The procedure is almost the same. So you can solve it and type in the chat your answers, and then we will check it together. Okay, let's look at the first task and see what we can do here. 
So firstly, we do things that are in brackets, but here we cannot do anything because like, we cannot add number to the variable. So we open the brackets. So here we have 0, uh, 0.05 and 0 0.1n. We can add them together and get 0.15n. We bring this to the other side of the equation symbol and we have 215 minus 0 0.8. So we have 0.15n equals 135, 135. Uh, here we can approach with different methods. Uh, you can multiply everything by 100 and you will get the common numbers. So like 15n equals 135. If you know how many 15s are in 135, you can solve this way. Or you can uh, manually divide 135 and 15. Let's do this. But actually, we, we cannot like, do this because 13 is less than 15. Uh, so I typically was multiplying by the numbers to get the last number correct. So uh, by how much we need to multiply 5 uh, to get 5 at the end. We can try like 7, 35 or 9 because 135 is a huge number. So let's try with 7, 35, 7 oh, oh, multiplied by 1, 7 is n plus 3, 10. Not enough. Then we can try 9. 9 multiplied by 1, 9 plus 4, 13. Exactly what we need. So n equals 9. If you have different approaches to dividing and multiplying, it's totally okay. As long as you get right answers, you can calculate as you are comfortable with. So for the second part, we do the same. So here, one, uh, 0.25 multiplied by 5. It is the same procedure as if we were multiplying the normal numbers. Uh, 25. Uh, we have only two numbers after point, after comma. So we here we also calculate two numbers from the end and put a comma or a dot as you are, as you are okay with. So 10, 25, 0, 35D equals 4, 0, 5 minus 125. So 0, 35 equals 2.8, oh, D. Uh, so here is the same procedure. We can multiply by 100 or we can multiply by 10. So 3.5 and 28 or 335 uh, and 218. Uh, I don't like fractions, so let's have 35D equals 218. So how, so we again need to multiply five by the number that will give us zero at the end. So here we can have six or eight. 10 is too much. So let's try with six. 13, six multiplied by three, 18, two, 210, not enough. Oh. 14, oh, 18 plus, oh, plus four, yes. 
um, 24 plus 4. I, I got confused. One second. Ah, yes, 24 plus 4, 280. Exactly what we need. So D equals 8. Remember that you can do this only if you have like the numbers you might see from scratch what number you need to multiply because if you were, will be trying a lot of numbers it will waste you a lot of time so you have time to copy the solution If you have huge numbers or you don't see like, let me change the color, like here, or you might have numbers that you don't exactly see how much you need to multiply by, you can take out common factors, like divide by 5, 15 and 135, and you'll get easier numbers, the smaller numbers, you will see how to solve them. Here, 3. And many three and 13 let's do this so minus 10 2 and 15 3 23 oh no not 23 i got confused yes yes i got confused sorry 35 2 27 like this and you can also get nine Okay, let's continue. And we have the last set of exercises. It is solving for a variable, so you need to isolate a variable that is asked to be done so. So for the 173rd question, you need to isolate B1. And for 75, you need to isolate A. Um, I think I will pick up a student to dictate the key points of the of solving the first and the second task. So I will give you some time and then choose two students to share their solutions. What does it mean by colon B1? 
B1 is a variable you need to isolate. So here you have A equals something, but at the end you need your uh, equation to look like B1 equals something. Only B1 isolated on the le uh, left or right side of the equation. Got it, thank you. Alena, do you want to share your solution with us? Uh, no, sorry. You are not done yet? Mm, yeah. Um, Professor Kenna? Uh, yes, sure. For the first step, we will send 1 over 2h to the other side. Mm, how would you do this? one over two H to the other side. So it becomes like two A by H. Two A by H, this way? Yes. Um, okay. It's equal to B1 plus B2. Plus B2 and uh, for isolating B1, we can just send B2 to the other side. Two A by H minus B2 is equal to B1. Great. It is the easiest step. I saw some people in the chat who wrote, like, they find the common uh, denominator for this and wrote like this. Oi. Okay, okay. B2 divided by H equals B1. Uh, this is also possible. But, it, but as I said previously, you, like, you have something to do with this H as well. So... It is the, like not the final variant where, where you cannot do anything further. So, but you can have either this variant or the easiest one that we were shown how to do. Okay, maybe Yuri, you want to share your solution? What? Uh, do you want to share your solution for the second task? Do I have to send on the chat? Um, I think you can just dictate me and I will write down. It will be faster. If you're okay with it. Okay. Um... Can I show you? Yeah. Uh, you mean how? I won't see it, sorry. The, the quality is not the greatest here. Uh, okay. Um... So what is the first step you did? We have to move 40, 54 T to the left side. Okay, like this? Yeah. And then multiply two to both sides. Okay, we can do this, let's see. And then also one over t twice. How can I read that one? Uh, which one? The T and T. <laughs> uh, um, one second, <laughs> I forgot. I've, I suddenly forgot. Uh, T squared. T squared. Uh, we have to multiple one over T squared to both sides. Ah, okay, got it. You want to do it like this. Mm. And so. then we can mm -hmm. and then we can simplify. We can what? 
Like we have two T's. Uh, mm -hmm. So like, you mean this way? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, we can do like this. Or if you don't want like to bring two with you, you can a bit change the approach, but still, this is like the one of the easiest variants, and it is correct. So you can copy it if you need, and we will continue with the last two exercises. For the second equation, as well as we did for the first one, you can leave as it is this variant and you don't need to simplify further. But if you want to, it's not a mistake, but be careful that you do it correctly. Okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, here I will also ask someone, I suppose from Zoom, to share their solution.
Okay, everyone is ready. I see from the chat. So, mm -hmm. Diana, do you want to share your solution with us? Sorry, I'm not finished yet. Uh, the first one as well? Yes, I'm on my way to finish. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Hyunsung, do you want to share your solution with us? Uh, sorry, I don't finish the first question, not yet. Okay, anyone on Zoom who is finished? Uh, professor, can I share? Yes, please call me Yana, not professor. I'm not a professor yet. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's Miss, okay, it's can okay. I share? <laughs> you can share. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, you have to put a B to the other side. Uh, a minus B equal to 1 over 2 PL. Oh, wait, 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 please. I need <laughs> yeah. to write down. So A sure. minus B. Then? Oh, yes. Uh, then uh, 2A minus 2B equal to PO. Equals what? PO. Okay. Yes, uh, P equal to 2A minus 2B over L. Great. I'm not sure which is your name, maybe Charlotte. Is it your name? Yeah, you can call me Charlie. Uh, okay, I'm not good at math, but this one I tried, so I can share. Yes, share, yeah, please. So first step, um, P minus two W is mm -hmm. equal to two L. Mm -hmm. And after, um, P minus W over, over what, over L, oh, sorry, sorry, one minute, yeah, over L is equal to P, no, over what, <laughs> sorry. Oh, over two. Exactly. And it equals L. Okay. So you can copy the solution. Uh, can I ask? Sure. Um, do you have any formula with those um, for First one, I didn't understand well. Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, do we have any formula of solving? Uh, we don't have like the pure formula, like the template for solving this. But the idea is that we need to perform several operations to isolate one of the variables we are asked to do so. so here are just direct math operations to bring B to, one second, like bring B to the A side. Everything we need to do to isolate, isolate. it's not usually like different difficult operations as taking the square root and uh, stuff like this, but the simple like multiplication, division, or uh, subtraction and so on. But we don't have a template. Okay, thank you. So I think everyone copied the solution. So that's all for today. Uh, we did these exercises. Uh, if you have any questions about the book, please ask now. Uh, you have the 
textbook information attached in Google Classroom. So you can easily download it and see the questions. If you want to try solving them again, uh, we have the same information in a uh, math program, program that Mr. Cork shared with you. It's the ninth nine lesson. You can watch it again if you have any questions. Uh, so we are done for today. If you have any questions, you can ask now or you, you're free. Uh, is, would it be possible if you could... Wait a second. Continue. Is it possible if you could write, type down the textbook URL in our chat, Zoom chat? Uh, you have the URL uh, in the Google Classroom. Oh, in Google uh, Classroom, okay. Yes, in the textbook de description. Of Mr. Corks? I'm not Mr. Corks. <laughs> Which Google Classroom are you talking about? I'm talking about the math. Uh, classroom that uh, you have to sign up for uh, during oh. this week, where you have all the information about the classes uh, and all the links. Where, can where can some people may not be a part of that class, so they can't access his Google Classroom. Not everyone in this tutoring session uh, is okay, doing I got math it. in his class. Okay, I got it. Here is the link. Uh, students who are in person, please sign your name uh, and ID number on the paper, please. <laughs>